Okay, let's get started with the first video in accounting. This is principles of accounting. Um, before we get started on the lecture, I just want to remind you that for accounting, uh, it really is repetition, especially at the beginning. Accounting is not hard. It's not hard at all. It makes perfect sense. Unfortunately, you've got to get it in your brain how it all works. So you need to spend a lot of time up front. And you can't just spend some time one day and then not look at it for several days. This is a subject matter that you need to keep looking at every single day for the next probably two, three weeks and keep going over these concepts. And I, don't mean, I don't mean hours every day, but some days you might want to spend an hour or two going through this step. And then the next day you want to refresh yourself and go through these concepts again. Because once you get them in your brain, they really do make sense and it's going to make your life much easier because more than likely, most of you are going to have more than one accounting class. And as you go into these different accounting classes, the stuff that you learned in this one, they assume that you remember that and that you'll take it on to your next class. Okay, the first main concept that we want to teach you about is the accounting equation. The accounting equation states that assets equal liabilities plus equity. Now, assets are things that we own. So this is on one side of the equation. Liabilities is what we owe. So let's write this down. Assets are what we own. Liabilities is what we owe to somebody else. So these we can call the creditor's claims. It's what the creditors have claim on in our business. And then equity is our owner's claim on the business. Okay, let's do a really simple example that I'm sure everyone can understand. So now once again, think about this. Don't just watch, my, watch the video. Really think about what we're trying to get across here. Okay, let's say this is our business, because we always have our business separate from our own books. So every business has its own accounting equations, its own books. So let's say this is a brand new business. Let's say it's a pizza parlor. We're starting our own pizza business, and the first thing we want to do is we want to do deliveries, so we want a car. Okay, well a car would be an asset. It's something that we own. So let's just put that down. And let's say the car is worth $10,000. So that would be on this side of the equation. It's what the business owns. Now, how did the business get this car? Did it just appear? It doesn't just appear, right? That would be great, but it doesn't. So how did we get the car? Well, let's look on the other side of the equation. We either have a liability or we have equity, okay? How did we get it? Well, we could have gone to the bank and borrowed money. Maybe we borrowed $10,000. That would be a liability because creditor, a bank, has a claim on that car. If we don't make payments, the bank or the financial institution is going to come back and take that car. They're going to repossess it, right? So if we could have a liability for $10,000, meaning we owe somebody $10,000. So look, our accounting equation is in balance. Assets equal $10,000 and liabilities equal $10,000. So $10,000 and $10,000. Well, what if you personally wanted to put your car or give your car to the business? Well, that wouldn't be a liability. That would be you, an owner, having claim. Because you can do that. You can contribute cash into your business or you can contribute assets. So if you've got an extra car that you're not using it, you want to use for the business, you can do that. Then that would be equity in the business. So right there, we've got 10,000 owner claim and we're in balance, okay? Because in this case, there's no liability. We didn't borrow money from the bank. So liability is zero and we have owner claim, you being the owner of the pizza parlor, of $10,000. So our assets equal $10,000 and our owner claim equals $10,000. Okay? So this is how the accounting equation works. Every single transaction in our business will affect this accounting equation. And after every single transaction, it must be in balance. So this is really a simple, simple concept. But now at this point, you just need to realize that we've got assets liabilities and equity, you need to understand these terms inside and out, backwards and forwards. Now let's just go over some examples of assets. What are some things that we own? The most common thing would be cash. All right, The businesses have their own cash. Savings accounts, uh, CDs, checking accounts, those are all cash. The cash in the cash register, obviously that's cash. Uh, we talked about car, buildings, land, supplies, all these things that we own would be assets. 
liabilities, some examples would be if we owe money to the bank, okay? If we owe money to the utility company, if we owe money to our employees, okay? Because a lot of times the employees work and then we pay them a week or two later. Well, that would be called a wages payable or a salary payable. Whenever you see the word payable, that's gonna mean a liability, meaning we have to pay it at some time. Okay, so we've got accounts payable, wages payable. Accounts payable just means that we bought something on credit from somebody. Okay, and then we also have our equity, where we talked about the owner's claim. Equity can really be broken down into four components. We've got our capital account, which tracks the owner's balance. From that, we, I'm gonna abbreviate here, we subtract out the withdrawals, so I'm abbreviating that WD, the withdrawals. So if you're the owner of the business, you can take cash out. You can take cash out. So we would take, we would reduce our asset and then we would have money coming out. So if we took $200 out of the company, out of the business, we would subtract $200 in cash. But over here we would have a negative $200 withdrawal because this would reduces the equity, your equity in your business because you took money out. Okay, if we have revenue in the business, that increases and expenses, I'm running out of room here, expenses decrease our equity. Okay, so revenue is what we earn, the money that we earn from doing whatever our business is. In our case, it's pizza. We sell pizza and salads and wings, things like that. So whatever we're selling, that's revenue. Expenses would be those things that we pay out for. So we're paying gas for the car, we pay utilities, we pay wages to our employees. Those are all expenses, and they reduce the profit of the business, right? Okay, revenues increase our profit. Expenses decrease our profit. Now, in, in other videos, I'm going to explain more in detail about this, okay? But right now, let's just talk about the equity being the capital, what the owner contributes to the business. So our first example was the car, $10,000 car. Your capital account would have gone up $10,000. Okay? Withdrawals is when you take money out. Revenues is that sales or the profit that you earn. And expenses is what reduces our profit in the company. Okay, so that's it for this video. Now there's gonna be a couple more videos uh, for this first chapter. So you're gonna make sure that you go through all these videos. And you're probably gonna wanna watch these videos several times to make sure that you understand all these concepts. And then also make sure you're reading your book at the same time. All right, good luck, and I hope you have a lot of fun in accounting.